If you have practiced the occult, then you have opened yourself up to demon spirits. Now, what is the occult? The occult would include seeking a medium, trying to consult the dead, using crystal to try to determine what you should do, looking at horoscopes, Ouija boards. It would be uh, anything that is forbidden by God in the Bible. And the reason why God doesn't want you to get involved in the occult is because you open up yourself to demon spirits. Listen to Acts chapter 16. There's a story of someone who was involved in the occult, and listen to how the Bible puts it. Acts 16, verse 16. Once we were going to a place of prayer, we were met by a female slave who had a spirit by which she predicted the future. She earned a great deal of money for her owners by fortune telling. See, mediums, fortune tellers, palm readings, tarot cards. Notice she followed Paul and the rest of us shouting, these men are servants of the Most High who are telling you the way to be saved. She kept this up for many days. Finally, Paul became so annoyed that he turned around and said to the spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. At that moment, the spirit left her. So we see that it was an evil spirit that was moving on her. Now you might say to me, isn't it, why is Paul disturbed that she's telling people, listen to the, these men, they're telling you the, the way of God, they're telling you the true way. Because listen, Paul doesn't want confusion. He doesn't want there to be occultism within Christianity. And a lot of times you have what people call themselves Christian fortune tellers. They'll say, well, I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus. But God has given me this psychic power. He's given me these powers. No, 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 no. There could be no mixing of the two. And even if you uh, say, I believe in Jesus, yet you practice the occult, it's still a demon that's controlling your life. So this woman, she was promoting Christianity. Yet she was also involved in the occult, predicting the future for people in a, a, through an evil spirit. Once Paul drove out that spirit, she could no longer have this gift. It is a serious matter, my friend, to get involved in the occult. You need to break those spirits from your life. In my book, Breaking Curses, Experience, and Healing, I talk about the four steps you must make to break these demons that have infiltrated your life through the occult. So if you've been practicing these things, it's time to make a change real quickly. The first thing is, I mentioned, is get rid of any objects associated with the occult. So if you have tarot cards, get rid of it. If you have certain witchcraft books that you use to, to try to delve into the witchcraft, you need to get rid of it. Get rid of any objects that's related to your practice of the occult. Secondly, re renounce any involvement with the occult. Renounce it. Say, in the name of Jesus, I come against it and I will not practice it. I consider it a work of the devil. You need to renounce it and be honest with God. And number three, ask God for forgiveness. He's a merciful God. Because it is a sin when you do this. So ask him to forgive you and he will forgive you. And then finally, I mentioned in my book, take your stand against the enemy. So that means once you've broken those demons and and re renounced it and and confess your sin before god take your stand and say in the name of jesus i will not allow demons to control my life from this day on so are you ready to do it pray this prayer with me say in the name of jesus i renounce all involvement with the occult i renounce and now specify the things you renounce like if you went to a medium if you've been looking at horoscopes whatever you're doing Say, say, I renounce those things. Now, be specific. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I ask you to forgive me, Father, for all of my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. And I take a stand against Satan. And I order him and all of his demons to get out of my life and the life of my family. In Jesus' name, amen. And I hope you get my book on breaking curses, experiencing healing.